Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is all about helping you guys edit your photos and videos professionally, but for free. And in this episode, I'm going to tell you guys something about the changes in Darktable 3.0.1. Right, so there have been some overall performance fixes like the tone curve grid, uh, the brush opacity has been fixed and the removal of some of the presets in the RGB mode. There have been four major updates and I'm going to talk you guys through them, tell you guys what they are and I'm going to show you guys, so let's go. All right, so right now we're in dark table 3.0.1 and I'm going to show you guys the fixes that have been made. Now we're looking at a photo right here, a photo I've taken in the forest and you might wonder what's in focus and what's not. If you can't really tell on your screen, there's a great way to do so right now, which is hitting the Ctrl, Shift and F and that's the default shortcut for focus peaking. So now everything that has a color is in focus. That way you can see if this image is the image you want to use and if everything is perfectly in focus. I'm going to switch that off and I'm going to show you guys the second change. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Shift F again and now it's off. Remember I did that video about the best Instagram settings for Darktable and I made a video and what I did was I made a white border around the photo because Instagram, the background of Instagram by default is white. So that way if you would edit a photo you could see if the colors looked very natural in comparison to the white background because if something is black or gray things start to look differently well darktable 3.0.1 now has a dedicated button for you to do so and they call it the color assessment and for that we've got the white light bulb over here it says toggle iso 12646 color assessment conditions and if you click that you will see that a white border will be placed around the photo for you to look and see if the white balance is off or not. Please keep in mind though that if you click this button that means that the white background won't be added to the photo. If you want that to happen you need to use the framing module. I'm going to show you guys how by linking you to this video up here. It's the Instagram video and there I'll show you guys how to do so. Let's go on to the next change. So let me just uh, deactivate this one and now show you guys the next change. So if we open up the denoise profile one, you see a mode over here. And you can change the mode from non-local means to non-local means auto to wavelets and to wavelets auto. If you pick wavelets, you now have the option to choose the color mode Y0U0V0. And it says the color representation used within the algorithm RGB keeps the RGB channels separated while uh, the Y etc combine the channels to denoise chroma and luma separately. And that's a new way how to make the algorithm use the denoise profile module one. There's one more change I'm going to show you guys which is fairly simple because right now the side bars aren't very big or maybe they are too big for your liking. Before you had to go into the settings and then change everything in the settings, the pixel width and stuff like that. Now what you can do is you can just drag them in and you can just drag them out to make them either smaller or make them bigger for you to look at. So if you have troubles with the way they look standard size, then this is a great way for you to change them around a little bit. And obviously don't forget, you can already change the size of the film strip so that's pretty cool. And those were the four big updates Darktable 3.0.1 has had. I've fiddled around with this program a little bit and I gotta say it's a lot more stable than Darktable 3.0. If you've got any questions about this video or the changes that have been made, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to put a link in the description down below to the GitHub site where you can read the entire change log of Darktable 3.0.1. For this week, I've got only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!